Well, the Halo show's finally over, which is great news, but unfortunately, like a zit during puberty, it will be back, because they already booked season two before this dumpster fire ever even aired, which is baffling. Their confidence in the show is misplaced, and the team behind it feels like they wanted to use as little as possible from the Halo universe, and they made that clear right away when they proudly stated that they didn't play the games and had no desire to ever play the games, and you can almost feel that in the show itself. Like, deep in the DNA of the show, it feels like it was made by people that hate Halo and just wanted to make fun of it subtly. Though it's not very subtle when one of the major lines is, Find the Halo, win the war which is nonsensical butthole speak. Uh, pretty much half of the lines in this entire show feel like they were generated by a clever bot. Like, it just it feels AI-generated. It's, it's crazy that the show's in the state that it's in. They take a beloved franchise like Halo and make this wet fart out of it. I don't get the point at all. This shit is more cringe than the Butt Ugly Martians. It really feels like they initially wrote a generic sci-fi script but knew it wouldn't do that well so they slapped Halo on it just for some guaranteed eyes on the project. But I don't think it worked out super well for them because most people I know stopped watching after the first like three episodes. Across the entire nine episodes there's only four action scenes and I'm not one of those guys that just needs to have like my hand on my dick watching mindless action to be entertained but those are the only good moments in the show. They do the action well. I actually thought they did a good job of making Master Chief and all the other Spartans on the Silver Team look really badass and show just how strong one Spartan can be. And, like, they really do a great job of showing how fucking amazing the Spartans are. So that's when the show's at its best, when it's just giving you action. Everything aside from that is so bad. Now, I already made a video on Halo up until Episode 8, but now that Episode 9 is finished, this is just going to be like a little moist meter for it. So Episode 9 is actually one of the better episodes of the series, which isn't exactly high praise because the whole series is bad, so it's like comparing shit to poop. But what really carries Episode 9 is like the last 20 minutes where they finally go to the Covenant homeworld. They finally take the fight to the Covenant, and it is probably only the third time the Covenant have ever even been in the show. The majority of everything that happens in the show is just family drama and the Spartans having memories and Master Chief fucking because he falls in love with a girl after meeting her twice. So outside of that, the Covenant have just barely even had a role to play in this show until the very end of this episode, and they do a great job. They actually set up an entire level that seems like it was lifted right out of halo combat evolved so i give them props there they did a great job with the set so the spartans drop in they hot drop you know fucking nuts to butts they're killing all kinds of grunts that are sleeping which is a nice homage they kill all kinds of elites they're fighting the brutes and it's really flashy it's really cool and the entire time it looks like a level straight out of halo it's really really enjoyable but then towards the end of the fight it goes back to master chief being whiny stinky diaper baby man who then like goes back into the, the mainframe of the artifacts and he's talking to McKee and he's crying, he's all upset and then she gets shot and he's like, no, don't do that, why'd you get shot? Ah. And it's hard to even care about the character because you don't really get to see her much. She doesn't do much. She's just more of a nuisance. You don't know anything about her so the audience doesn't really care that she gets shot but John does. And then in his sorrow and despair... He lets Cortana take over his whole body in order to get the artifact out and save his Spartans. So now Cortana takes over Master Chief and he becomes basically a fucking fleshlight for Cortana to use. So Cortana slash Master Chief kill all the Covenant around them, take the artifact, and they zip off the planet. And there's a massive plot hole here because all three of the Prophets are right there, right above the artifact that Cortana takes. She could have killed the Prophets. They weren't guarded or anything. She could have just killed all three of them and then taken the artifact and pretty much put the kibosh on the entire covenant right away. But that was never even briefly thought of in Cortana's infinite wisdom. But anyway, that's where episode 9 ends. Everything before that is just more boring garbage where it's Halsey's doing questionable moral things and then they're trying to hunt her down and kill her for all of her crimes. But she manages to elude them, and then at the end you see her plotting to, to propel humanity forward to the transcendence and shit like that. But what I think is the best part about Episode 9 is it completely forgets about Kwa Han. And I think that's when the show's at its best. So the last two episodes didn't have Kwa Han in them, and they were better episodes. I really think Kwa Han was one of the worst additions they could have made to the show. And I want to again specify, I think the actress that plays Kwa Han did a great job. It's just that character 
had no impact on anything that happened in this show at all. Everything played out exactly the same as if Kwa Han wasn't there. She contributed nothing. So all of those episodes spent with her were useless. They didn't do anything. They didn't lead to anything. Maybe they do in season two, but even still, it's hard to get excited about that because her entire plotline was so annoying and so boring. Why even have her there? I really think the best thing that can happen to the Halo show is lightning strikes the office and hits the season two script, and when they're rewriting it, they forget Kwa Han ever existed in the first place. Or even better, they don't even bother rewriting season two script and just chalk it up as just a loss. And then we only had to deal with one insultingly awful season of this show. That would probably be the best case. Anyway, plugging the Halo show into the moist meter, I'm giving it a 30%. Like I said, I do think the action carried it. I thought they actually did a really decent job with it. The set pieces that they put on there really did make it feel like it came straight out of the game. And I wish I had seen more of that considering there were so few action sequences. But what I really wish is that the show was just good and not dog shit. I wish that they actually bothered putting any amount of care into this show as opposed to just making it a generic sci-fi bore fest. So yeah, that's really about it. So yeah.